What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, let's take a look at some amazing hidden features on One UI 6.0 based on Android 14 on this beautiful Galaxy S23 Ultra. Without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. First one is about organizing the app icons on the home screen. Now let's say I want to move some of these application icons to another home page here. All I can do is just press and hold on an icon tap on select and select the icons uh, you want to drag and drop. Earlier we used to press and hold on it and uh, drag it on another home screen. But now what we can do is uh, after you select the icons, go to the area on the home page where you want to drop these icons, just press and hold on that area and just drop it here. As simple as that. It's quite quick, isn't it? Now let's say I want to bring these back to that home screen. I will select all these icons. I will just go to that home screen area where I want to add these icons to. I will just press and hold on it and drop it over here. All those selected icons will instantly come to this area over here. That is perfect. The other way to do it is you can just press and hold on the icon and select the ones that you want to move. Now press and hold on this icon. Now it's all selected and I'm going to drag this. I can use another finger to go to the next page and I can just drop it here. I can go to any page I want and I can just drop it over here. As simple as that. Now we don't really have to uh, select it and then uh, press and hold on it and try to search for the area by going to the edge of the screen, move to the next page and then drop it. That is something uh, which is a little difficult to do but now with this all new hidden feature we can easily move these icons in a jiffy next hidden feature is a contrast option on a developer setting now most of us know how to enable developer setting we can go to settings go to about phone and here you can go to software information keep tapping on the build number here you will be able to enable the developer mode the moment it is enabled it will uh, be sitting at the bottom right here on the settings menu as you can see i've got developer option right here let me tap on this now here we will get various options uh, we have got a brand new hidden option called contrast let's search for this this will be under drawing section where you will be seeing these uh, windows animation scale transition animation scale etc uh, after the transparent navigation bar option you can see this contrast option over here let me just tap on this now we get three different contrast option we've got standard option medium option and high option this changes the contrast on the screen itself there's a minor a change we can notice when we select different contrast options here you can try it yourself now moving on to the next hidden feature again this is in a developer options let's scroll all the way down you can see we have got an option called predictive back animations enable system animations for predictive back when this toggle is enabled you will be able to see the previous page on the settings menu or any of the system settings uh, while you are navigating back to the previous page as you can see when I I'm uh, trying to go back to the previous page using this navigation gesture. The previous page is clearly visible here. Before we go to the previous page, we will be able to see where exactly we are going to land. This may not be that useful, but if this is applied to the third party applications as well, then it is going to be very useful because we would know in advance which page we are going to land. Uh, let's say you are shopping something on a shopping website uh, while going back you will be able to see the previous page and if you don't want to go to that previous page you can directly jump uh, to the menu or you can exit the application you can do whatever you want so that may be useful on a third party applications. but for now this is available on the system apps only now let's say i'm in the settings menu and i have entered the volume options let's say sound and vibration options and i've tapped on volume now while going back uh, you can see when i navigate to the previous page I will be able to see the previous page even before reaching the previous page. You can see the previous menu is visible when I use the navigation gesture here. Now the next hidden feature is on Samsung internet application. Now we will be able to play the video sound even after exiting Samsung internet app. Let me explain what exactly I'm talking about. Let's go to Samsung internet app. I will go to YouTube. Let's go to my channel. Now let's say I'm playing a video on YouTube on internet application. As you can see, this is the internet app and I'm playing a video here. Now when I exit the application, I will still be able to hear the YouTube audio on the phone. You can hear this. But now that's gone here on the newer version. We just have notification settings right here in the left corner. Now let's go to notification settings here. I'll tap on notification settings on both. Here let's go to advanced settings. We've got notification history. I'll tap on this. This is where we get to see all the notification history uh, which we have already dismissed on the notification panel. This is just fantastic. Now we will be able to hear all the audio from YouTube and any other videos on the other website while that is being played on Samsung internet application when you exit the application. So that is just perfect. Now this feature is not enabled by default. You need to enable this. You need to tap on the uh, menu options here. Tap on settings. This is the internet settings we have. 
uh, we have got an option here called useful features. You step on useful features, you will see a toggle here, background play. So this will be uh, turned off by default. You need to turn it on. This says keep playing video sound after you leave a tab or Samsung internet. Some websites don't support background play. So be wary of that. Some website may not support background play, but the best part is YouTube supports background play and uh, we can play any video on YouTube and exit the app and do whatever you want on the phone while hearing all the audio from YouTube. That is just perfect. Next hidden feature is dragging and dropping the files on the files application. Now I did discuss this in one of my previous videos. Let me just show you that. Let's go to uh, Samsung Files app. Let me open the internal storage and uh, open any of the folders here. I will open Facebook folder here. Now let's say I want to move this particular item, this particular file to another folder in the files application. Uh, earlier we had to press and select this option and then tap on move here and then go to the folder where you want to drop that file and then drop it there. But now we can just Press and hold on this and drag it. Now you'll be able to go to the previous page by using the other finger. Now let's say I want to drop this particular item in one of the folders. Uh, let's say I want to drop it in documents. I will just drop it here. Now the documents uh, folder will have this particular file. This is just amazing. We can now drag and drop files on the files application. Moving on to the next feature. Now let's say if you have opened any application in pop-up view and when you go to the recents page, the pop-up view will still remain in the recents application. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's open any of the applications here. Let me just open Play Store. Now I will swipe up and tap on the icon here to open this particular app in a pop-up view. As you can see, this is the pop-up view we have got here. Now when I go to the recent screen, you can see the pop-up view is right here. The application that I open in pop-up view will be visible in the recent screen as well. This will be useful if you want to see the contents on that particular uh, app in the pop-up view while doing multitasking. You can see I can go to the previous app and I'll still be able to see the contents on the pop-up view for the Play Store that I've just opened. Let me open another application here. Maybe I'll open Samsung Gallery. Now I will swipe up to open this app in a pop-up view. Now I'll again swipe up to go to the recent page. You can see both the applications in the pop-up view are available in the recent page. Now let's move to the next feature. Let me tap on camera application. I will go to settings. Now here we have got watermark option. I'll tap on this. Now if this toggle is enabled, whenever you take an image, you will be seeing the watermark. We can customize the watermark. This was already there on One UI 5 as well. But now we have got a couple of new alignment options. Let me show you. As you can see here, we have got alignment option. As you can see, we had these three options before. Uh, now we have got another two additional options here. Now here I have selected the top left corner as you can see. And using these two new options, now I can move to the bottom or I can move to the top. Now let's say I have selected the center alignment. The uh, text is right here at the center top and I can tap on the this particular icon here to bring it to the bottom. And likewise, I can do this for the right alignment as well. I can bring it to the bottom if I want by using this particular icon. Now, this is another feature which has been added on One UI 6.0. The last hidden feature I would like to discuss about is the gallery labs. Let's go to gallery. I will tap on this hamburger menu and I'll tap on settings. Now, uh, by default, the gallery labs will not be enabled. We will have to enable the gallery labs by tapping on about gallery, tapping on this version number multiple times, we will be able to enable gallery labs. The moment it is enabled, you will see gallery labs option here. And now on One UI 6.0, we have got brand new options, hidden options on the gallery labs. As you can see for One UI 6.0, we have got simple bottom option in viewer, return to viewer while exiting, show date address floating view, remote gallery option. Now let's look at the second feature which is working. Show date and address floating view on top of the picture tab. I have enabled this. Now let me show you how exactly this shows up. I will go to pictures. As you can see, we have got today, yesterday, uh, 6 September. All the dates are mentioned right above these images. And when I scroll up, you can see on the top left, the floating date is dip displayed right there on the top. These dates are floating right on top left corner. This is another feature which is currently working. The last feature, remote gallery, is something very, very interesting, but this is not currently working. I have enabled this. It says access an album of the remote device in the same Wi-Fi domain. Now since I've enabled this, let me just close this application and again go to gallery. Now let's say I'm in a particular album. I can tap on this three dot button to see this all new option called start remote album. When I tap on this, it's going to create a server 
for this particular album which can be accessed on another remote device. I can share this particular QR code. I can use another device to scan this QR code to open this particular IP address to check out all these images which are available on this particular album. This is quite interesting but this is currently not working for me. The day it works I will be posting another video for you guys to understand how exactly this looks. Uh, so these are some of the hidden features that I want to share with you guys. Uh, there could be some more hidden features which I'll explore and uh, keep you guys posted. For now on one UI 6 I was able to see these hidden features on the system. If I missed any, you can let me know in the comment section. I'm sure you would have explored many features on one UI 6 already. Uh, drop a comment and let me know if you have found any other hidden features. That would be much appreciated. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. And tap on the thumbs up button if you appreciate the video. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.